This is the most perfect setup that we could have for a deer push here. And we have all these white tail on this island. There's only one place they can get off and that is right through this channel. Now, we actually have an outpost here where potentially we might be able to get up on top of that rooftop. And if that's the case, it's gonna turn out pretty awesome. I wonder if we could jump up from here. And it kind of seems like we might be able to. I mean, it's gonna be close, but... Oh, I don't know if we can make it. Boy, is that gonna be a close one. Get up there! Oh my god, we did it. Oh my god, we did it. It's just barely in the nick of time. I don't think we can make it any higher than this. This is gonna be it right here. This is gonna be it. All right, let's watch what's happening here. Well, we got here a little bit too late and now they're all trotting through. But we could probably take him down. I mean, I don't really wanna take him when he's walking. So yeah, we'll have to come back. All right, guys, it's the next morning now. Welcome back to this location here. We got all these white tail out on this little point and we're gonna sneak into the tripod, get ready, and hopefully we can take down a couple of these nice bucks. Of course, that's the main one that we really, really want. But there's also a couple of good ones out there as well, including this messed up looking rack one as well. And that guy out there as well. All right, here we go. We are now officially in our tripod. So that buck there is a 180 plus. That's a 150 plus and there's our giant. Honestly, there's a whole entire herd of only bucks. There's four, wait a second, there is one though. Dude, look at this. There's two deer directly lined up absolutely perfectly together. I'm gonna try something once. We got him, yes! We got the big buck. We got the big buck. Wait, did we get the big buck? Oh no, don't tell me we did not get the big, oh my God, please tell me the big buck is piled up there. Please tell me that's the big buck. Yes, that's him. Wait, why can't I tell if that's him or not? I mean, it definitely, it's gotta be him. It's gotta be him. But where's all the other deer? Where's the doe that we dropped? Oh, oh my God. Oh, so here's where we dropped the doe and that buck right next to each other, side by side. And then this buck was running. The first shot, we hit him a little far back, but the follow-up shot must have dropped him right there because he honestly didn't go anywhere from that shot. And then this buck here piled up over here and I was like, wait, what was that buck? Hopefully it wasn't the big one and it wasn't because our big buck is piled up right there. Yes! All right. That is not a doe, however. And I don't think that is either. Nope, that's not a doe either. So let's try and take down both these bucks as well. They're about 350 yards out there. Uh, like 325. Ooh, two incredible shots. All right, not a bad way to start off this hunt. I'll tell you that. So I believe we took down out of this herd, three bucks. Yeah, including this one here, which I don't even know what it was to be honest. I think this might be the 180 plus buck. Oh, no wonder why we couldn't see him. Look where he piled up, right in this tall white grass here. That is the 160 buck and we got him far back in the intestine. But these bucks here, we did pretty good. All right, here he is. Our biggest buck is laying right here. And that, 
Well, that right there is a non-vital hit, and that is a vital hit. That's their follow-up shot. In case you're wondering, but over here are the first two deer that we took down. Stacked them right up, as some could call it. And, yeah, they're definitely stacked up. All right, there's our buck. Double lung shot. Perfect. And there's our doe. Lung and heart shot. And of course, our massive white tail buck. Oh my god. He's going to be a 218 gold, and we actually got an intestine shot first, hit him really far back. But the follow up shot ended up getting him right in the neck as he spun around. And we dropped him right there. Look at the size of the rack on that thing. Wow. What an excellent shot, too. He was running wide open just like that. And we dropped him right there. I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath. Ooh, that shot looked money, but clearly it wasn't. Oh, the last shot connected and we got him. Figured might as well take down one more doe. All right, here we go. That's a good buck. And there's another buck over here. Stomach, liver, lung shot at 340 yards on the walk. And that's a 170 plus. And then this one here was a left lung shot at 311 yards, 170. Now there's actually a spot where I'd like to do a little bit of duck hunting with the recurve bow. I got this idea the other day and I was thinking, how cool would it be to try and just sit there with the recurve bow and let some big drake ducks land next to us and smoke them? Oh my God, is that him? We just had a nice drake duck land right next to us here. There's more circling. Got some geese coming over. Light colored one there. All right, where are these ducks? Oh. Now that duck is definitely in range. It's a female though. Couple of teal. I wouldn't mind getting a big old goose with the recurve. That'd be kind of cool. Decent three. Ho! Oh. Now that duck landed right on our head. That was actually too close. Dude, a duck just landed right there. Oh my god! Perfect setup! We just smoked that duck. Not a duck. I meant goose. We just smoked that goose. But there's definitely a duck right here. Smoked her too. It was only a female, but hey. It's a duck. There was a big drake here. I never actually did see him take off either. So I'm hoping that he still might be over there somewhere. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Oh my god. That's gotta be him. You can just barely see his head sticking up. Just barely. I mean, we got all our decoys. Right there. It's a tufted to duck, but it's a female. Oh, that's pretty cool though, look at that. It looks just like a decoy. Two, two females. Hold on, we are getting absolutely landed on right now. Small female goose. That's a decent three, he's taken off, that's all right. Where are the big Drake ducks? Right there. Oh my God, we got too close. It's only a female though. Well, that was the duck that we wanted. Yep, it's a female. So I guess we're not gonna be getting any big Drakes. 
Do these all take off? Oh, we might as well take that one down. Oh, smoked her. There we go. Got some more ducks landed here. Ooh, there's a giant tufted. That's what we want. That's exactly what we want. All right, so let's focus on that 900 plus. That is the one. Right there, 930 to 1008. So he's the one in the front right there. No, he's not that one. He's the second one. He's the second one. So he's going to be that one. Yeah, he's that one. Okay. All right, let's watch. He's that one right there. That's him. Oh my god, no freaking way! Dude, you gotta be kidding me! We just took a mid-flight, he was literally fluttering in the air, and we shot him. <laughs> oh, wow. I am absolutely in awe at this point. That was incredible. He was basically levitating over the top of that rock right there on the edge of the tree in the water. And we compensated just right, let one fly, and smoked him. And I don't even know where he is, but looks like he's piled up underneath this tree. Yep, there he is. Look at that. Wow. Huge tough to duck. Huge. All right, let's go pick some of these up. So here's the female. Actually, a 840. Decent sized female. Almost gold potential for a female. Are you kidding me? And not only that, a double lung heart shot with the recurve bow. I'll take that. Wow. Then I believe we got one more down here. Yeah, right here's one. And that was a little bit smaller, 26 yards. And then we got a goose and two more tufted ducks. Holy, those things are loud. Let's check out this goose here, shall we? It was actually a female and it was a gray, but it was a 10 yard shot and we got it right in the right lung. Look at how incredible this goose is though. Wow. It landed right next to us and we took kind of a quartering away shot and made it hit right on the money. Beautiful. And last but not least, we got these two over here. Well, this one here first. I don't even know if this is a male or not. Oh my... No, what? No freaking way! Oh, oh my god! Oh no. Oh no. Okay. I've never even gotten a diamond with a shotgun. And we just got a freaking huge diamond tufted duck with the recurve bow. <laughs> Holy. Wow. As you can tell, I am pretty excited about this. A 981. Oh my God, it's a giant diamond. We took him at 19 yards with the recurve bow. Holy. That's one of our coolest duck hunting moments of all time right there. I mean, imagine if he was the one that was fluttering, that would be probably even a little bit more cool, but still, to get him with the recurve bow. Wow, I've wanted one of these for so long. And the fact that we got him with the recurve bow makes it even that much more special. Look at the comb on that thing. Just a giant tufted duck. Huge diamond tufted with the recurve bow at that. Wow. Uh, did I not get him mounted? 
Please tell me I got him mounted. All right, so I just went back and checked to see if we mounted that duck and we definitely did not mount that duck. But I do in fact want to see where we hit this duck and kind of what happened with this duck here. As long as we don't claim it, I think we should be fine. So that was a 962 gold, almost a diamond as well. We almost doubled up on diamonds. And look at that shot, dude. We took him as he was fluttering in to land and we got him in the wing at 37 yards. Wow, I'm so glad we went to look at this. Look at that pose. That is incredible. What a stunning, stunning duck. Almost doubled up on diamonds there, but wow. So what I realized is we can't actually accept this duck, which is fine. So we have to exit out of this, and then we need to go to the trophy lodge ASAP so we can get that duck mounted because we're definitely gonna get our first ever diamond tufted duck mounted. We just are. All right, so just give me a little bit of patience and let's get this all figured out, all right? There he is, baby, there he is! Woo, we got him mounted. So that's gonna be our new biggest duck, our biggest tufted duck of all time, 981.33. And there he is. Yes! Oh, heck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so here's our rare albino lynx that we got the other day. Talk about a sweet lynx, huh? I mean, look at that thing. That's the diamond capricile that we got in the air the other day. Do you realize we almost had a diamond tufted duck out of the air with the recurve bow today? I mean, almost. What do we got here? Maybe we should get rid of this thing. It's a big gold blonde raccoon. We'll move him over here. By the way, this is one of our coolest rare uh, piebald whitetails that we did get with the recurve bow as well. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put the blonde raccoon here. I thought there was a 10. Oh, 9.9, .9, I guess that could be, that could be him. Let's put him here. And then we can put our huge diamond tufted duck over here I like it here better because it's a little bit higher up and we'll be able to see it technically it was in like a normal sitting pose but I like it a lot better it was just like this when we shot it but I like it a lot better like this there we go 981.3 giant diamond tufted duck with the recurve bow wow what are we doing? <laughs> um, wrong button. If you would have asked me what was going to happen today, I definitely would not have told you that we would have taken down potentially two diamonds with the recurve bow. But we definitely did get one. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.